for those wondering, Thundermail servers will be located in Germany. And, you know, from a privacy perspective, I think they're pretty, pretty well known for that. With several countries in Europe saying, hey, we're going to get rid of Microsoft. Hmm. Well, OK, we need it. We need a exchange style email, you know, something more professional and they, they want to go open source. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, let's put it in Europe where a lot of people are going to want that faster time. And if it really catches on in other locations, you know, like in Asia or North America, then, well, OK, we can add servers there, too. You know, with this service, you know, you, you bring up uh, the Gmail, the G Suite, I guess, or Google Workspaces or whatever it is, um, or Office 365. You know, one one key difference between those two services is the uh, Gmail, G Suite, whatever. It's it's all cloud based. They don't actually have a physical mm. outlook like application for the desktop, mm. which is, I think, one thing that, you know, Office 365 users really like, I think. A lot of them tend to really like having that all look all tied together. Everything just syncs together. Mm -hmm. And this, you know, if, if it turns out right, is that because they got the, the cloud, the email servers, but they also have the email client that you can install. And even better is you can install it on Linux.